this is what you need. Three small eggs, the butter, nice soft butter, caster sugar, cocoa powder and self-freezing flour. So really easy to do. I'm just going to sift the flour in with the cocoa powder and then add the caster sugar and then we'll add the butter and then three eggs. Try and have your eggs at room temperature and have your oven on first. So I have the oven on at 160 degrees on the fan or 180 conventional. So straight in with your eggs. And then all you have to do is whisk it together. But first things first is prepare your tin. So I have here a seven inch tin, a square tin, and I have it lined and buttered. So if you don't have a seven inch square tin, you could use you know, an eight inch round tin. Just try and get one with a deep side and then you can keep it round or you can trim it if you like. So straight in with the whisk, put the whisk right in the middle on the base. We're going to start slowly. Okay, that's it. straight into the tin and then I'll just use a spoon to push it in there. So that's it, ready for the oven. So I'm just going to put it straight in the middle of the oven. I'm going to put the timer on for 35 minutes and it should be nice and firm with a little spring so we'll test it. Um, that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to make the buttercream for the cake. So I have here soft butter, which I'll show you, nice and soft, icing sugar. Just put that in, and all we're going to do is whisk this together until it's nice and light. Okay, so you can see it's getting nice and light and fluffy. And then I'm going to add some chocolate. So I have here some dark chocolate with a little bit of double cream that I've just melted over a pan of simmering water. So this is going to make it really luscious. So add that in. And then whisk that in. Okay, so. So that's about it. Just put this out of the way. So I have here the cake that I made earlier. So you can see it's nice, nice texture. I just put it on a board. I stuck a little bit of buttercream underneath it. So now the fun bit. Now we're going to ice it. So a nice dollop of buttercream on top and then just use a palette knife and I'll spread it out. So we go with that. Okay, and then I'm gonna stick these on. So you can do these any way you like. I've just cut these in half to make them a bit smaller. And then for the top what I have here, so these are just chocolate cookies, which I put in a little bag and I bash them up. So these are gonna be like your soil. And then I have here some biscuits, so just little plain biscuits. And I use some black icing to pipe, or you can use the little gel icing, you could use some red. Um, so I think we'll do, the, we'll do the soil first. So just sprinkle that on top. Now push these in. I think they're quite effective these. Okay. And that's it. Really fun, really delicious. And that's your wave yard cake. So thank you for watching. Be sure to share your photos. We'd really love to see them.